feel like forging something. I've got this little chunk of Damascus that I think needs to be a small chef knife. thing I want to do is use my press to just get a little bit more length in this. about working with thin material as it heats up really quick. I have a few delaminations on the edge of the, the billet, so I'm gonna grind those away before I continue. Right now I'm just focused on getting a taper. Once I get the taper that I'm looking for, then I'll start forming the profile. Just using the press again with some kiss blocks to work on getting the thickness down a little bit. Yes, I used to do this all by hand. Now that I have a tool that does it, I don't see the point in wasting time. Now I'll work on getting a profile that I'm happy with.
feel like I messed up on this tip a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is basically hot cut this. Just use the end of the end of the anvil. Take some material off of here. There we go. Now I should be able to get more of a, a curve at the tip there. got my profile pretty close to where I want it don't forget to cool off your tongs from time to time they get warm too so I'm gonna go we're gonna go about seven inches on this guy so we're gonna mark our ricasso right there. Make use of your hardy hole and the uh, hardy tools you have for it. That's how I used to do it, and this is how I do it now. You've got to be really careful. You can screw up your material really quickly this way. that lovely press I've taken down the tang material now I'm gonna cut the back side of this off start getting a tang shape on here.
almost got my tang to shape, so I need a measure to make sure I'm where I need to be. So I need to grab another half inch out of the length. So I normally do four inches from here to here, and then five inches from there to there. That usually gets me the length that I want. tappy taps and I've got the tang where I want it don't forget to cool down your tongs about three more things to do and I'm done. When I forged in the Ricasso, the material at the, at the heel of the, the blade right here bent down, kind of pulled it down with it. So I need to use a straight peen or a rounding hammer works too and hit right here to push the material back down. already push some of that material back down just a little bit more it'll be back down where we want it like that we have that heel pulled back down I just need to get this blade back in the shape that I want it I don't want too much curve back here on the spine so I'll straighten that up in the spine I want to get out. Just like that. That's more what I'm looking for. And then because this is gonna be a brute to forge Damascus, I'm gonna give some taps on the spine here just to round those edges off a little bit. Cause I don't really wanna have to grind on the spine. do this when it's a black heat just so it doesn't actually forge it you're just gonna planish those edges beautiful okay I need to hot punch my makers mark in here Got 
that. And then while I've got this uh, somewhat warm, where I hold the heel of this blade down, I just need to make sure it's centered and not off to one side. So when I'm grinding, I can actually get my center ground in. And that looks perfect. So I'm gonna put this back in the forge, but I'm going to sprinkle some some uh, flux on here, and I'm gonna wipe it just to get some of this forge scale off. You just wanna watch the flux in your forge, and as soon as it starts bubbling, it's ready to pull out and wipe. And then I just need to wipe the other side, and we'll straighten it up and it's done. and clean got this all cleaned off both sides now I just need to heat it up one more time just a low heat and I'm gonna put it in my high-tech straightening device teed it up now into the high-tech straightening device two pieces of angle iron in my vise. squeeze it down let it cool just a little bit when you pull it out, it's going to be pretty and straight. Just like that. All right, there it is. As forged. There'll be a little grinding, but not too much.